All right, so here I'm gonna mount the wheels. I'm not gonna mount them. I'm gonna TIG weld them, and I'm not even gonna TIG weld them all the way across. These are gonna have to be cut shorter or narrower, and then I'm just gonna TIG each corner because it's not like it's gonna have massive weight on there. So basically right now I'm just setting them on there how I want them, and then I'm gonna mark it out on the bottom, cut off the overlap, and then just, if you can see right here, where those holes are, go into that for you. It's gonna leave me a gap to where I can actually just TIG on those corners. It doesn't have to be massively uh, TIGged out because it's not gonna have like crazy weight on it. So let me cut all this out and then I will show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, so with just this alone, you can see where I'm gonna cut on this. It's pretty much right on the edge of it. So I'm gonna take that material off, that way it fits on there perfect. And then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, so once you cut them down, you can see how much is shaved off it. Put it on both. This one's still hot, just burn my hand. And you can see that now it fits right inside that. There you go. And that's what we were looking for. All right, let me keep going. And there's your finished product for welding the wheels to the front bracket. And so here we are with the wheels on. I took the wheels off and I was welding it. The whole reason for that is, if you haven't figured it out, uh, all the heat from the tacking will melt the polyurethane. Even though the centers are plastic, it's still got steel on the inside and these are ball bearings. They do and they are capable of one wheel is 300 pounds per wheel. So they're pretty strong. Uh, just basic tacks. I didn't put anything crazy on it. I didn't weld it uh, all the way across. No need for none of that. And when you do something like this, be sure you always put your wheels together to make sure that they're not going to collide with each other when they're actually swiveling. Because that is pretty close together, but that's how I wanted it. Let's mount it on the stand, see what it looks like, and then we'll go from there. All right, so that's pretty much what I wanted. Just to narrow it up, make them closer together. We got sun here. Works perfect, just the way it's supposed to be. Now we just got to go to the back part of it, finish that up, and then we'll go into the painting process and show you what's actually going to go on it. 